it sounds crazy, really. Um, yeah, some of the people you just listed off there and what they've achieved is outstanding, and the fact that I'm alongside those names now is, um, yeah, really special. I, mean, I got my license back within, I think, 11 weeks of my accident, and I was back out racing in a step up and level in Formula 3 um, at the start of oh, about a year, I think it was, after my accident. It's what I love to do, and I spent a lot of time in a hospital watching other people that I was racing race, and I thought, I want to be out there. And yeah, and I'm just so glad that it happened. And a big part of that has been down to Carlin, who have helped me get back out on track. Um, it's difficult when we went to F3 because the car's much smaller. Um, and there's not as, as much room to do all the fancy things we need to do. Um, but um, yeah, it's worked well so far. And he's, you know, remember he's having to learn different skills. He used to braking with his, you know, with his with his feet and throttle with his feet. Now he's got to do his, his throttle with his hand and break with his knee effectively. In a hundred years time when people look back and, and people tell the st Billy's story, um, they'll, they'll say how, how on earth did he ever do that? To make a comeback from where he was, uh, he's, he's not made a fuss about it, he's just wanted to get back to doing what he really, really loves and that's going motor racing. He's gone through all this pain and everything that went with it and the disappointment of, I mean, it's not just having the pain but thinking that you'll never race again. I mean, not really started, but I mean, it was just remarkable. And to meet him and see his, his way he looks at life and what he's going to go on to, I just hope that he gets the drives he wants, where he can show his ability, because he's obviously very talented. It's always sobering to, to look at those many uh, who are worse off than ourselves and, and who don't complain. And I think, you know, Billy is, is a great, great role model for, uh, you know, young and old across the whole planet and uh, a really, really Great, great story. To be honest, it, there's, I don't really know how to describe how it is to win such an award like this. I mean, it's, you see the names on it and you know what they've gone on and what they've achieved and it's, um, yeah, I'm just super proud and I don't think anything that I could say in words would probably sum up how special it is to win the Seagrave Trophy. To give the Seagrave Trophy this year to its youngest ever recipient, Billy Munger.